Hi, welcome to your video on central tendency, which is the fancy word for mean, median, mode, and range. And by the end of this time, you will be able to find those central tendencies and choose which one is the best measure. Vocabulary we need to start with first. Um, the mean is the sum of the data values divided by how many there are. Um, typically, you think of the word average when you hear the word mean. So you add up all the data points and then divide by how many of them there are. Range is the difference between the biggest number and the smallest number. Um, difference there means subtracting, so you're going to subtract the biggest from the smallest, and that will be your range. Mode is the data number that appears the most. And the helpful hint with that is MO and MO, mode and most, often. Um, and then the last one we have is median. Median is the middle number when the data values are put in order. And that's a huge part to remember. They have to be in order. Um, median is the middle number. The way I like to think of median is that um, a median is the big cement um, island thing in the middle of the road um, that separates the traffic from going the same directions, um, and that's in the middle of the road, which means median. Um, so that's a way you can help yourself remember. What we're going to do now is find the mean, median, mode, and range for this readathon. Um, as you can see, the people and then they, what they have for pages read is listed um, with next to their name. And so the first thing we're going to do is find the mean. The mean, if you remember, is the average. So we're going to add up all the digits. So we have 40 plus 45 plus... 48 plus 50 plus 50 plus 59. And then we're going to divide all of that by how many there are. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 people. So we're dividing that by 6 because that's how many digits, um, how many numbers we have equals 292. That was the sum of all those numbers divided by 6. And when I do that, I get an answer of 48.6 repeating, um, which is basically saying there's about 48 and 2 thirds pages read. And now we're going to find the median the median is the middle number, but the first thing I have to remember is to put them in order. So that's what I'm going to do first. Um, and lucky for us, these are already in order. So that makes it a little bit easier. Um, finish writing these quick. Okay. Um, they won't always be in order, so sometimes you'll have to do that. Um, and then we're just going to cross off and find the middle number. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six digits. So the middle number is actually going to be in between these two. And I know that I can just go back and forth crossing them off. Um, well, however you want to go about finding the middle. Um, if this was an odd numbered amount of d um, data, so like there was another person involved or whatever, um, it would just be that middle number. However, this time there isn't an exact middle number, so we have to find it. How we find that is adding up those two that are the middle numbers, because there's two of them. Um, add them up and then divide by 2. So 48 plus 50 is 92. And then 92 divided by 2 ends up being 46. And I just realized I made a mistake. Um, this is, should be 40, let's see, this should be 98, 
and then 98 divided by 2 is 49. Um, so 49 is the median. Um, you could have also realized that 49 is in the middle of 48 and 50. Um, either way, you're just find, trying to find the middle between the two numbers that are in the middle. So the middle of the middle, I guess you could say. Um, the next one is mode. Mode, remember that hint means most. The number that appears the most often. Um, this can be nothing if there isn't one that appears the most. Um, it can be just one number and it can be more than one number. Um, in this case, the number that appears the most is 50. And the last problem we have is the range. The range is the biggest number and the smallest number and the difference between the two. So biggest number is 59, smallest is 40. So I take 59 and subtract 40, you get an answer of 19. So your range is 19. Um, just a FYI on mode. Um, I kind of did mention this briefly, but there's some examples here for you. Um, if you look at example A, um, there are not any values that are the same, so there is no, no mode. Um, in B, you have the number 8 twice and the number 14 twice. Um, they appear the same number of times, and they're the most often, so there are two modes, 8 and 14. The last example, C, um, we have a list here. You notice grape appears twice, but then strawberry appears three times, which means strawberry is the one mode. So you can have none, you can have one, you can have more than one. Um, it just depends on the numbers that you have or topics. Um, FYI on the median, um, and this was in our example. Okay, If there's an even number of data, so in this example there's one, two, three, four, five, six um, data points, um, and so we know that the middle here is going to be two numbers. You're going to have to find the middle of the middle. Um, and some of you might know that this one would be 3.5. Sometimes you won't, and so then you'd have to find the mean of the two numbers in the middle. Um, if it's an odd-numbered, so like I have the no digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Okay, um, the middle then is more clear. The median would be three. It is your turn now. Um, the digits, the data um, sets are listed in green, and then you are going to tell me what the mean, median, mode, and range are at this time. And the answers there are listed now for you. All right, it is the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to working on this with you more in class. Have a great day.